my shop. This was as good a time as any to give a quick tour. Here we go. So that's just the main light. That was the only light in this room when we moved into this house. I added... Oh, let me turn the compressor off. I added those three all running off that strip. That one running off that strip along with my fan. And then this is the one I use attached to my rolling cart. I roll this over here while I'm grinding. I can aim it exactly where I'm working and it gives me a better view. Uh, I've also had this one in storage. I think I could maybe use this one for a similar purpose. But that way, with all the light around me, I can get, I can stand right in front of my work area and not get many shadows. So, while we're looking at it, let's get that out of the way. This is my grinder. It's uh, an Ameribraid 2x72, three horsepower, variable speed, it's awesome. I love it. I can't imagine I can't imagine doing what I do now without it. Moving along, I have a Milwaukee Portaban with the Swag Off-Road. I think this is their V3, maybe V4 table. This thing gets used a lot. It's a beast. I love it. Second favorite heavy tool, power tool, whatever you want to call it, drill press. This is the Grizzly Benchtop 12 speed heavy duty model. It's like 295, right over 300 bucks, said and done. I have one of the keyless chucks on there. This is a lifesaver. If you've never used a keyless chuck before, you don't know what you're missing. Um, it makes tool changes so much easier, faster. I normally will leave the same tool in here for quite a while, but when I do need to change one, it's super easy. Cheap Harbor Freight. Drill press vice works fine. I'll eventually get a nicer one. I keep my 1x30s under there. That's what I originally started on. This one has actually made knives. This one I've pretty much only used for handles, sharpening, woodworking, stuff like that. I keep them because they're useful. And because you can see I still have a crap ton of belts for them. Um, I always recommend anybody who wants to get started in knife making, if they don't know where to start, and they know they want to do stock removal, that thing's like 30 bucks on sale. By the way, I only paid for one. Don't ask me how I have two. No, I didn't steal it. I've got my pressure washer, blinked out for a second there. Bought that compressor from the pawn shop, brand new. I mean, you can see it's a little dusty. It still had the plastic on the dials when I got it. 40 bucks. Works fine for spraying myself off before I leave the shop. Keep all my aerosol, whether it be paint, cleaner, solvent, stuff like that down there. Wrap for when I'm doing glue up. Keep the mess. 309 stainless steel foil. Tool wrap for heat treat. Kydex straps. Kydex press. This says sandpaper, but the cake is a lie. That's synthetic hand handle material straps. Natural handle material straps, pin stock. This is something I started when I first started making knives. And I had these glove boxes and all my cutoffs and scraps I would mark and put in a box. So I've got a box of about probably a pound, pound and a half, 1085, not much 1095. And then these are all, you can see there's a broken knife in there, stuff I've tested, projects gone wrong. I call it the box of shame. Heat gadgets, um, tactical keychains, replacement blades, batteries, torque drivers, flashlight O-rings, really stuff like that in there. Work sharp. I pretty much only use the leather belt on this thing anymore. I threw one of the bearings about a year ago and I'm too lazy to send it in or buy another one, so. This thing is pretty much my power strop. Harbor Press, Harbor Freight Special. These are all my punches, dies. Uh, there it is. 
focus effect, my stamp, adhesives, so acetone, West Systems, Devcon Quick Set, I've got Bondo fiberglass resin, spray adhesive, paint stripper back there, gloves, gun stuff. This is all just kind of miscellaneous, non-knife making stuff in that area. Car equipment, jack stands, three ton jack, focus. Empty propane tanks down there. Kydex, leather, hot glue, thread. You can see the uh, blade guiding attachment. I think I've got more belts for that sucker in there. Sandpaper polishing stuff, straws, layout, markers, design, paper, glasses, PPE, personal protection equipment, random stuff, Q-tips, AVE ruler, um, let me get around this dang cord so I can show you what else is over here. This is... My center scribe, USA Knife Maker. This is File Guide, USA Knife Maker. Even Heat 418, or I'm sorry, Even Heat KH 418. This is the 110 model. Works fine. Does take about two and a half, maybe three hours to get to 2000 degrees, which can be a pain, but hey, it's precise. Um, Aluminum quench plates, I normally put these in the freezer about an hour before this sucker is done. That way they get nice and cold. Random projects I'm working on, shop knives. I use the second layer for stuff I don't want to get dirty. Grinder attachments, flat plate and small wheel holder. This is actually the uh, Oregon Blade Maker small wheel holder. Works awesome. Had to make a couple small adjustments to make it work with the Ameribraid arm. All that meant was some washers, but uh, it works. It's tight. Small wheels and a Yeti, because I'm baller like that. Uh, that's another Yeti with oil in it for quench. This drawer, grinder dressing, another roll of paper. Pampers, no, not really. And then random attachments for tools, air hoses, locks. Stuff I should be using that I probably don't. And that's pretty much it. Well, belt storage on that wall. Clamp storage. Needle files, drill bits. More drill bits. Shout out to Oregon Blade Maker, small wheel holder. One plug life, I don't watch your videos anymore, but one of the things that made me fall in love with YouTube and that's pretty much it um, that toolbox just has crap in it that's the case for my Milwaukee drill sandpaper a moan polishing kit um, table clamp for hand sanding portable table I can take anywhere with me dirty leather for taking pictures phone books for cutting and it's supposed to be a short video, but there is a nine minute tour of my shop. You're more than welcome.